kids, welcome to Jay Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to season 13, episode number 16 of Supernatural, entitled Scooby Natural. And my thing, the last time I did this, was are they allowed to even use that? Are they allowed to use that name? I imagine so. I don't think Scooby itself is trademarked. Maybe just Scooby-Doo. But if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. The last handful of episodes have been decent. The season so far has been decent. It's been it's been good. Uh, we had a most holy man. I really enjoyed that guy that they introduced there. The little, the holy dude. I thought he was fun. Other than that, they needed his blood. They got him. We still need uh, fruit from the tree of life. The essence of an archangel the grace of an archangel and then the scroll of solomon so we have 25 percent of the way done jack and mama mary are still trapped off in never never land uh there's just there's a lot of moving pieces but i enjoy it compared to season 12 which was kind of all over the place and kind of reading comments it seems season 12 kind of a consensus of it being just kind of so far, it's kind of mixed feelings on season 13. So far, I like it. I don't know where it'll end up on the rankings. We still have a long way to go, but I'll stop rambling. Uh, and maybe we just get like a, a Scooby-Doo type of investigation in this where it's, I don't want to say remove the mask off of somebody, but something similar, I guess. Maybe they're just rocking with it. Who knows? For now, I'm going to put Jerry behind the scenes. He's fighting Jerry right off the bat. Kick his ass, Jerry! Yeah, then you take the mask off and it's just gonna be a dude. Roll credits! <laughs> 48 hours earlier. They need a trophy room like Batman has of all their kills and stuff. Is it over? His name's Art, yeah, probably. Uh, sorry about the mess. You boys just took down an evil plushie that was trying to kill me. We're all good. Alan? Everything okay in here? Alan. Oh, what? I had the A right. Uh, hey, Jay. I heard the ruckus next door. And I, I... What in the? Yeah. That was just a cursed object. Well, it didn't act like a cursed object. We should probably do some digging. I Everything thought, all right? I thought we were going to get hit with the 24-hour earlier thing. I probably He probably set it up. Jay, you piece of... Don't come over here with your pug yeah, eyes. Yeah. Anything you want. It's yours. Well, we could never. We're, we're just happy we could help. Oh. Wait. Uh, anything? Anything? Did you eyeball something? This is ridiculous. Oh. This, this made him feel good. Where are you hey. going to put this? He, I'm the good guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. What? She's delicate. She... <laughs> Go that way. I'll leave. What? Yeah. Of all the things. I mean, he did grab a flat screen. And that's back when flat screens were a little heavy. Now you can pick up a flat screen solo, bro. Like, they're not... They don't have much girth to them anymore. Be like Elsa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? He watched yeah, it. Yeah, show you something important. Yeah, he has Disney Plus. Come on. You make a Yo. movie theater? <gasps> the Dean Cave. The Dean Cave. Or Fortress of Dean too. Just still... Stick with Dean Cave. Figure that one out. We got foosball. We've got jukebox, all vinyl, obviously. Double Lazy Boy recliners. For me and my brother. Oh, no. Stop it. Dean, what just Did they just get transported to fucking Scooby Doo? You're a cartoon. Well, I'm, I'm a cartoon. cartoon. You're both cartoons. Hey, is this okay, okay, okay. This is a dream. It's gotta be a I thought it was just gonna be a regular cartoon. I forgot the title for a second. That's definitely the art style. Look at that. Shaggy handprint. It's not a dream. Holy crap. It's like when this it's it's like that episode without spoiling it in Lucifer. If you know, you know. This, uh, how did the car get here? Or they I got the keys in my pocket. They got the baby in the show. Seriously, that's what's bumping you about this. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but how? He's so excited. Always. Baby Drop. purring. A malt shop. Really? Look, let's just. Uh, that's. That's the mystery machine. The mystery machine. We're not just in any cartoon. We're in Scooby Doo. Play the intro to Scooby Doo. Stop, brother. I got cold chills. Do it. Oh, Scooby Natural. That was dope how they incorporated with that. I was really hoping we were about to get it. Scooby Doo. Where are you? Or. What's new, Scooby Doo? We're coming after you. We're gonna solve that mystery. I like that one. I'm a big, I'm a big Scrappy Doo fan. Kick rocks. I don't care. Oh, there's the gang. That's the freaking Scooby Gang. Brother, that's crazy. The Scooby over here, Harvard and fucking kick, 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 so we're stuck in a cartoon with a talking dog. Ruh. Not just any talking dog. The talking, talking dog. dog. The greatest talking dog in history. It's got a point. Now come on. Dibs on Daphne. Dean would be a Daphne guy. That makes that makes sense. He has Velma there, but he's he, he would choose Daphne all the time, yeah. They're freaking role models, man. Literally. Except Fred, he's a wad. Yeah. He's Fred's a what? dick. Just think about it. We do a the creepy same too. thing. We go to spooky places. We solve mysteries. We fight ghosts. Oh, Shante. Of course we know you. You guys are famous. Famous. <laughs> the only thing we're famous for is our eating skills. World's biggest hot dog, Brady. There are no words in this newspaper. <laughs> it's just the. We picture. should be trying to get out of here, and instead, you just... he actually fucking mentioned that there was no words on the paper. Now with Marmaduke. <gasps> How dare you? And hitting on Daphne when she's clearly with Fred. She is settling. She right. is settling. Oh, Daphne could do so much better. She could. Last time we got zapped in the TV, we got out by playing our part. Bro, food, baby, make a big ass sandwich. Oh yeah, stacking bitches up. Heck yes. Can I have one? Oh. Oh, he's a natural. He's a natural. <laughs> I know Sam gets irritated by that stuff, but I really wish he would have ate a sandwich too. When in Rome, brother, come on. Oh, they. I know baby's a big part of everything, but. Sam and Dean should have been in the mystery machine with them. It just would have made it so much better. Go, go, go! <laughs> well. Did you just get beat by a micro van? The light was red. The light... Red! <laughs> Super gas. Uh-oh. It's a gas? The dude in a trench coat. Who else would it be? Do you just want more time to try and get with Daphne? Do not ruin this for me. I'll return to I wish Sam would just play along just to smidge him. Like, just a little bit. Just have fun. You're in a fucking cartoon. Like, live it up, man. House in the morning to find out which of you remain, if any. <laughs> mm -hmm. Turns out he's the bad guy. You don't say. Tentacles, you're with me, slugger. Awesome. Oh, silly. She let him down easy. Maybe he will get one smooch, though. He deserves it. But then again, I don't think... They probably couldn't show it. Scooby, we'll spend the night with you. Now let's hit the sack. Are you wearing a nightgown? Fuck yes, he is. Call the sleeping robe. Yeah. He looks like Scrooge. Between you and me, it's freaking comfortable. Oh, nothing. Just... I thought big lugs were kind of your thing. thing. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Velma had the old rosy cheeks. Velma and Sam do seem like they'd actually be a couple, though. I'm just going to put that out in the open. <laughs> there definitely has to be a shot of them running between the doors. If not, throw the whole thing away. Oh, no, oh, no there's blood. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> no. The dummy buddies don't show up until later. I mean, this isn't a dummy. This is blood. He's he's dead. Like, he's like really dead. dead. The ED with a kniff. Jeepers. Jasper. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, 
I just Another made up my area. own Scoobyism, hoping that you Dean would say it, but he went straight to just son of a bitch. Dead. A little respect. Yeah, Fred. He can be such a jerk. I would like for Sam to get an episode like this where something he really loves and he's all defensive about it. Bring out that inner fire within him. It's just Cass outside. Look at him. Here he comes. Bam, bam, bam. That show, I saw wings for a second. Yes. Not today, freak. Cass? Why you know this guy? Like he's uh, yeah, he's yeah, kind of our pet angel. Of yeah, little feathers. Castiel, the Scooby Gang. To meet you too, Sam Dean. This dog is talking. Like that's yep. a scoopy freaking dude, How'd man. You get here? Well, I was looking for you at the bunker when Sam, Dean. Oh, flashback to from the boring Syria real world. Fruit from the tree of life. Oh, we got another piece. Tree. Guys, no, it's not a ghost. Hey, Velma, it's time to snap back to reality. All right. It's probably a ghost. Oh, oh yeah? That man, how did he just walk through that wall? I call team up with Daphne. Great! It'll be just the three of us. Just the three Sarah of us. I will check the attic. I mean, unless you're too scared. What? Unless you're no, too I'm, scared, I'm, Sammy. Yeah. Like me. Sammy's clueless as shit, dude. I mean, this is perfect because you got like the two kind of like the nerdy peeps together, Sam and Velma. Obviously, Fred or Dean is in a very weird threesome he doesn't want to be in and then you just get all like the, the cool supporting peeps you got Cass the talking angel and Scooby the talking dog and you know Shaggy the talking pothead and they're all together and it's beautiful and Sam is clueless about Velma just being all up on him I once led armies and now I'm paired with a scruffy Philistine and a talking dog Philistine his name's not so, Phyllis. I guess this is Shaggy. your first mystery. So, if you could keep those giant linebacker shoulders from knocking over any clues, that would be great. Why do you keep talking about my shoulders? It's like the damn mystery box in Call of Duty. <laughs> Told you. It's not. It's probably just Christmas lights and fishing line. Poor Velma. So strong, sincere. And an ascot wouldn't hurt. Like, 100% Fred. I'm sorry, Dean, but... Whoa. Hold up. Oh, a gold book amongst the dusty books. Check out that book. There are a lot of books in here, Dean. Now that one. The one that isn't painted into the background of the car. <laughs> Library. Might Take it out all the way and read it. Or... Hip, hip. With no flashlights. Three separate slides. Classic. Daphne, the eyeballs. Okay? Look at his eyes. Maybe I should just give you a once over to make sure. Oh. Ah! Oh hell no. <laughs> Very classic. <laughs> y'all got old boy. Look at him just taking that right behind y'all. <laughs> Color goofy. <laughs> Cass is ten toes down. I've never seen a ghost wear such a ridiculous costume. Where are you? We got some work to do now. <laughs> There's the goat right there, brother. Look at him. Have yourself a scooby snack. That's a fact. Close, but no cigar, brother. <laughs> The bowling pins. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's where everything frost and freezing and freaking cracking up right now. Whoa, yeah. Oh, no! That costume looks really real. I'll get him. Fred, don't. <laughs> Fred ain't got a stunt double. His ass taking the brunt of all that. His lower back's jacked, brother, brother. Fred! Oh, I guess our cue to get out of here. Ruh-roh. Raggy. Raggy. 
Scooby! Scooby! You've got me! Who's got you? Oh, his trench coat turned into a parachute is so good. And they got downstairs quick. Why do I look like I'm okay? It appears his arm isn't like other ghosts you faced. He's real. Fires, demons? Mm -hmm. I thought I was blind without my glasses, but I was just blind. What you there did. Look what you that did. Means there's an afterlife. Yes. Heaven, hell. All of it. Am I going to hell? Existential <laughs> crisis. Every freaking time. But did you ever listen to Scoob and me? No. no. We do. All right, knock it off. The complete look at Daphne's eyes right now. That's just not a thought behind them. Existential crisis is happening. Not even anything. Come on, Scooby Gang does not have nervous breakdowns. Samba, the space kook. Oh, I, I knew, knew it. it. You love this show too. Come space on, space kook, ghost clown, fighting real ghosts. Oh, we got your back like a motherfucking heating pad. Nah, we're gonna go to the truck of the car. We do. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> But we can help. We have to. You're right, you can. You're gonna do what you do best. Build a trap. That should do it. Well, you see, Daphne's covered all the exits except the wind up run, bro, is so good. You just, you just really gotta hunker down. Not the step cast getting stuck in the dryer washer that is. You set a beautiful plan up and what does Shaggy and Scooby do? They activate it. I told you it wasn't going to work. Yeah, fresh traps never work. <laughs> what if its mouth gets dried out? It's, it's being open all the time. Should I? Should I make another trap? I can get the shotgun! I can get two shotguns! <laughs> Scooby and me when it's over! Oh, if Scooby would have said he'd get a shotgun, peak. Okay, okay, hey, give me a minute. We can't leave him like this. Was right. Like she was? 100%, just like always. This wasn't a real ghost. We were fooled, but you never were, right, Velma? And I wouldn't have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kid. Part. Yep, it's the best part of the whole episode. The flying. Wires. Huh. Well, what about the walking through the walls and the bodies? Projection. Well, that was just a projector. As for the bodies. Were they dummies filled with corn syrup? Oh, exactly. Of course. Cosgood was trying to drive everyone from the house so he could get the money for himself. Right. There's no such thing as the supernatural. There is. It's 327 episodes. It doesn't stop. Ever. Huh? Gotta love it. <laughs> you were right, and now we know. No worries. We'll never know what could have been. Freddy, wait for me! We'll never I know. I miss your wise words and your gentle spirits. Look at his buddies. We will miss breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Velma got that shit. Those shoulders. Those shoulders, Jeez. man. Velma got that shit. Put them moves on that boy. Should have known Velma was good to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's always the quiet ones. <laughs> <laughs> Kid got a big ass head. That kind of reminds me of Jack. <sighs> okay. That was. Something. I wish that you would have was the coolest thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> and that includes the Cartwright twins. What did you do with the Cartwright twins? Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> and now it feels weird that we're back to them being like actual people, right? Like it feels like the weird scenes in like SpongeBob and shit where they show real people. Now it feels weird. Time to go, kid. What about the bad man? Don't worry about him. We'll take care of him, all right? Promise. We'll beat the shit out of Jay. Set that little kid's body on fire. Is that an ascot? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, 
Sam, Sam let him walk out of the house with that, too, by the way. What are you doing here? Hey, Alan, your friend here, he's been driving people off their property so he could buy it on the cheap. And he's been using his own personal ghost to do it. Yeah, Jay. You see, he'd plant a haunted object. Right in the middle of their let shit. The ghost go to work. And then it would possess something. Want to keep doing some digging. He's going to say it, isn't he? Everything all right? I would have gotten away with it, too, wasn't for you meddling adult. He sucked his pet ghost on us. Take it easy. What? She's delicate, all right? Oh, I'll lead. <laughs> They're lying. They're... You think anyone's going to believe that? Well, no, but that's why we hacked your financials. Turns out you're not so big on paying your taxes, are you? Good enough for Capone, good enough for you. Whoop, whoop. Of all the things, too, that's the reason they got Capone. That's just so crazy. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Woo! He said it! He said it! <laughs> he said the lie! <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking nutcase. What are you doing? <laughs> he probably doesn't have Scooby looks into the camera and he says, yeah. Dean, you're not a talking dog. He might as well be. He was a dog at one time, remember? I know that. I I didn't do all of them. Wonderful. Wonderful. All the way around. That was, uh, that was something to behold. Such a random thing to happen in the middle of this season. Scooby Natural. In this special animated episode, Sam, Dean, and Castiel are sucked into a Scooby-Doo cartoon and help the gang investigate a mysterious phantom. I hate blurbs, and I'm so glad I don't read them until after because that would have took not all of the fun, but it would have took some, some fun out of it. Uh, like you said, they do the same thing. They hunt bad guys, except their bad guys are real. And Scooby-Doo is, is not... I have to go see where this is at, ranking-wise. This is like one of the top-rated episodes ever. This is a 9.6 in the middle of season 13. Sam and Dean are transported into an animated world of Scooby-Doo, and they join forces with the Scooby gang to solve the mystery. March 29th, 2018, which, wildly enough, is almost six years ago. Yeah, almost to the day. Like we got pretty close. We're about a week off. That'd have been wild. I mean, look at this. This is so good. I'm just gonna pull everybody up real quick. Bam, 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 bam. So it looks like the girl that's playing Velma here has been Velma for a while. I don't know if she's the original Velma or not. Let me, let me scroll on down here. She's not. But she has been Velma for a hot minute. I want to see, uh, as I kind of, it's like her first appearance was in the Lego one. Is that correct? Scooby-Doo and WWE. Scooby-Doo is like teamed up with a lot of people. I enjoy it. She kind of looks like Velma, too. Bro, I didn't know that. It goes all the way back to 1969. That is crazy. I, I honestly wasn't aware of that. I knew it went back a little bit, but not that far. Scooby-Doo. This is good stuff. And then obviously, this dude does a bunch of voice acting stuff. The girl that does Daphne in this, let's, let's see how long she's been Daphne for. I'm just going through some shit here. Could probably help if I typed in. Oops, nope. We're in my whole screen. Hold on. I just typed in, so I don't have to scroll through people's everything. 
Scooby-Doo has been her favorite thing that she's ever played. So she enjoys the Scooby. She's also Catwoman in the Batman games, which is pretty sick. Matthew Lillard, Matthew Lillard of course, who is just a, uh, a ray of sunshine to us all, who became Shaggy in the live action. Which gets shit on, but I think it's a cult classic. And even returned in Scooby-Doo 2 and was such a good Scooby that he is just now, he's just he's just Scooby-Doo. Like, he is Scooby-Doo. I'm not sorry, not Scooby, Shaggy. I, I'm an idiot. He is just Shaggy. I'm sorry, I keep reading the name of the Scooby-Doo. He did such a good job of Shaggy that he now is just Shaggy. How, how dope is that? It doesn't get much better than that, in my opinion. Uh... Frank Welker does Fred and Scooby. Has he always done that? Yeah. Yeah, Scooby, Fred, Scooby, Fred. That's just good stuff. I'm just reading the cast here for the actual thoughts on the episode. Random. I love it. I love everything about it. Classic. It just all the way around the ghost chasing them, running through the, the damn doors. All the mentions of Scooby-Doo in between. The similarities of hunting ghosts. Like I said, one real, one not real. Obviously, one's a cartoon. Not knowing they're in a cartoon, having the existential crisis, Velma kissing Sam, Dean being a horn dog trying to get with Daphne, being a little creepy, but Daphne just being all the way down for Fred. It's good stuff. Uh, like I said, there's other been other shows and other things that we've watched, other episodes, where it just comes out of left field, but it sticks. Or like a weird animated episode that's just a blast to sit back and watch. Uh... I wish something like this was in a, a banger of a season, like something like season 11. I think it would have been so random, or if it was something that was done by Gabriel, the trickster, Loki, whatever you want to call him with him, especially with him being back. I like that moment with Dean even having that in the beginning, saying, or is he, when they said that he was dead, and we know as the, the audience that he's not. Having the creepy colonel be the the villain when it was... We have... A creepy Colonel Sanders is Asmodeus. All all good shit. So all the way around, a phenomenal episode. One of the best ones of the entire show. It's going to get a chef's kiss. Remember, uh, Lucifer is somewhere with... I think, do they have Lucy? I think so. I think, I think they have him. I, I can't remember this exact moment. I'll know by the time the next episode comes back around. So you don't have to worry about telling me. They have two of the items. They still need the essence of an archangel. And they still need the scroll of Solomon. So they have a fruit from the tree of life. They have a most holy man's blood. They need the next two things to get this rift. Mary is still with Jack. Michael's still out there. I still think Michael's a big threat. We still had teases to those damn creepy crawlies in the hole in the second episode. When Jack almost summoned something, we still have Asmodeus. We still have all of those pieces just lying around. And uh, we still have, oh girl, the other... Kaya. So, for now, season 13, episode 16 was entitled Scooby Natural. Season 13, episode 17 will be entitled The Thing. Like the Fantastic Four? Hmm. I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on the screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.